Hi, I'm Stephen Cleary, and today I will be unpacking Upstairs Downstairs, the Obsession of Expansion. Now, I've been unpacking Obsession tonight. I've got my player boxes set up, except Wessex is only partially set up, um, since it doesn't come with everything uh, needed for an actual fifth player in that expansion. And also, Howard is empty, since there is Howard is a part of this expansion. Now, I'm going to be setting this up in a way that, um, that so, so that I'm just going to start with the base game. So actually, everything that's specifically for this expansion is going to stay in the box. But I'm going to uh, break out the uh, some of the components to put in the actual player boxes, although the Howard uh, family cannot be used without playing this expansion. So I'm going to set it up for a uh, four or five player base game, uh, or up to five player base game. Um, most of my players are going to be one or two. Um, and mix in all the additional things. Uh, so one of the things about Dan is that uh, he's a bit of a per perfectionist, and he is, let's say he's obsessed with, um, with customer satisfaction. So Upstairs Downstairs is not just a great expansion, um, for the game, it is also like an upgrade pack for the first edition players, and it's also um, got all the components for the people who had the Wessex expansion, um, but wanted to play a fifth actual player instead of just having that fifth player role. Um, so there's a this ended up being like a bit of a, a miscellaneous grab bag, I think, um, of components where uh, other places probably would have had like a separate. Um, first edition upgrade pack or something like that um, that they made available. Dan uh, did it this way, I believe, um, for cost reasons. That's what I would assume. Um, so that there's not too many different products out. Let's rip this off. And we've got upstairs, downstairs. I'm going to be working through this as I go. I have not seen any of these components before, so please bear with me. Um, this is not just an unboxing video. This is also an organization uh, video here, so it's going to take me a little bit of time. We've got here all our new meeples. Well, I'm going to break this out, actually, because there's a mixture here. Uh, so we've got... Um, so these are the new servants. Uh, we've got these different um, colored... Servants are all new servants. These ones here, uh, the white, blue, we got a, okay, so we got a white, blue, um, and we've got some purple, red, and green. These are all servants that uh, that belong in like the regular base game, and these are additional servants to enable those higher player counts. Um, so. We have, for example, uh, Butlers. Butlers is one of the things that was missing, where you couldn't actually play a five-player game. Now we can. So I've got my Wessex box here, which is partially filled out. These other player boxes are fully filled out. Um, here's Cavendish as an example. I've got all the, um, the tiles, their family, all their starting Butlers, and their own little reputation chits there. So these are all complete over here in the corner. You can ignore those. Uh, these are the two that are incomplete still. Howard's completely empty. I'll go ahead and fill it out probably as part of the expansion and just keep this box in the expansion box. Um, this one here is, uh, is Wessex. I've put in the things from the Wessex expansion, but they don't have their own set of regular starting tiles. They just have the special Wessex ones. Um, so they just have, they need a set of uh, starting tiles they have their family, they need butlers, and they need one of these uh, reputation tracker thingies. So I'm just going to go ahead and divide these out. And they would each get a footman and a butler to start with. These are just going to be extra and go into the regular people bag. I'll do that later. And then here we have the rest of the initial meeples that are necessary. I think they start with one of each, right? Yeah, five different meeples. And then these are also just extra. All right, so we've got a nice little bag there that can be used for anything. Um, these are all actual upstairs downstairs meeples. I'm not going to 
uh, even unpack this right now because I'm not planning to start playing upstairs downstairs until I play the regular game. I think that it's quite different. Um, let's see what we've got here. We've got some gentry cards. P. P, P, P. I don't know what P would be. It's not Ponzi. Uh, oh, these might be promotional. I think that might be what that P stands for. And if so, then I believe that these cards are actually uh, not terribly uh, playtested and that they can really bend the game. So I'm going to leave these out for now as well. Even though I believe that these can be integrated into the base game, I'm choosing not to at this time. Uh, I'll go through that deck in a moment. This is just the same as came in the other um, in the base game, so I'm just going to lay that to the side. We've got new rule books. I will lay those aside as well. And here we go. So we've got one extra country estate thing, which I'm not actually planning to ever use those. Um, now this is an example of what I was saying where Dan, um, this, is, this is an upgrade for, uh, for the first edition. I do not have the first edition, um, so I'm just going to lay this aside. I'm, I'm actually making a pile of things to like give to some first edition owner. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to lay that aside to that pile there. Here's the Howard board. I'm going to keep this in the expansion box because um, because Howard requires the use of the new servants, uh, specifically the cook. So let's see what we've got here. So this is the round track for solo estate challenge and tableau session. Okay, so that sounds like something that could go into uh, into the base game. And this, I believe is actually a duplicate from this side is a duplicate of what's in the base game so I'm just going I'm gonna merge this into my base game for sure because I do intend to play this solo and then we've got some new uh, prestige and objective cards now the original ones oh, well, those are not any different size but these uh, BP cards are much bigger that's a nice size difference there um, I'm almost certainly going to play with the bigger cards, so I'm going to be giving uh, those away to anyone who wants them. Um, now, there are some unbalancing two here. Let me see. Let me open this up here. I'm going to be working through, uh, Dan actually wrote up a document. Uh, right now it's not on, um, right now it's not on, uh, on BGG, but, uh, should be up there. Yeah, right now it's just in one of the updates for the Kickstarter. These are all BP cards. Okay. Excellent. Oh, this is a courtship card. That's what that is. Gotcha. So, okay. I wasn't looking too detailed in these. Maybe some of these are courtship as well. Yes. Okay. Some VP cards and some courtship cards mixed in, which is hard because the backs are not terribly different. Um, here. Assuming I'm supposed to be separating these, I believe they're two different decks. Okay, so that gives us bigger VP card stack, bigger courtship cards. Um, now the objectives, yes. So. I believe that some of these objective cards were actually rebalanced in the the upstairs downstairs expansion. However, um, some of the new objective cards require um, require the new servants, which I'm not playing with. Let's see. Hey, do you need something? Okay. Just listen. All righty. Um, let me see. I'm looking through Dan's document here. Let's see what we've got. 
objective cards. Yes, so there are three more than in this deck. 26 of them are the same. Okay, so these are the ones that are not, um, they're not marked as, um, as specifically, okay, they're not marked specifically as an expansion. But it says, okay, this document says to keep both of them. So this one stays with the expansion only. Put that over here. And this one stays in the base deck and is used only for the base game. Gotcha. All right, good to know. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got some. Some of these, here we go. These look like our starting tiles down here in the bottom row here uh, for the Howard family and the starting tiles for the uh, Wessex family. So I'm just going to stick those right on out there. Uh, and these four will go right into the Wessex family box and that should conclude the Wessex family actually. And, oh no, sorry, they need their uh, reputation chips too. So we've got these four going into Howard. And we've got these reputation markers and the reminder. And these will go into um, Howard, which closes that out. Or sorry, Wessex. Uh, I completed with the Wessex box now. Still got Howard. Um, he still needs family and these reputation markers. Lay this to the side here. All right. Now this is where we're starting to get a little bit more tricky here. Um, let me. Take a look at this document here. We've got yeah, I'm just gonna walk through these tiles one at a time here. So we got the start tiles out. Check. We've got um, prestige rating five tiles says one copy of each of these is in the base game. Yes. These ones have been added to enable five and six players. These can be just moved right into um, into the base game. They're not going to um, upset any balancing because any duplicates are stacked. So these go straight into the base game bag. I've got all my regular base game tiles in this nice bag here. So toss those in there. And moving along. Servants Hall and Barn Tiles. Um, yes, so this is another example. So these were tiles that were changed in the second edition of the base game right here. The Servants Tile and the Barn. So these are actually part of a first grade expansion pack, so to speak. And so I'm going to set this with my things to give to first edition owners pile. Um, all right, and then monument tiles. We have monuments here with reduced VP, it says. So let's take a look at these monument tiles for a second. Because I knew this was coming. So these are the new tiles. And I've got I've got too much stuff on my desk at the moment. I've got these monument tiles, which are from the base game second edition. That's what we've got here. Um, so they, they, these replace the six monuments in the base game if you want to reduce the impact of monuments. Monuments are very, very powerful tiles in this game. So these six tiles that came in the base game 
would be replaced by these four tiles here that came in the expansion. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so these I'm just going to lay aside in a, I'm not using this now, maybe in the future pile. Um, and I'm going to take these ones and place them in my bag. All right, so continuing on through the tiles here, we got the stocked lake. Um, stocked lake goes in, just normal. Um, Babbling Brook and the Parish Church. This one is uh, is my favorite because this was my uh, my this was my recommendation for when he was asking for new tiles. So using this one, you can establish a living for a parson in your uh, in your area. Um, so these all get mixed into the base game without you know any. Uh, any additional rules or anything. Uh, let's see, same thing with the carriage house. These both become part of the base game. Renovated kitchen cannot. This one takes a cook. So this is definitely like new, uh, you know, uh, the expansion only. I'm getting ahead of myself. Housekeeper's room also. House, yes. Housekeeper's room and the renovated uh, kitchen here. They do have a U on them, which is very probably very small to see on that video, but um, these ones get um, kept with the expansion only. So I'm gonna lay these over with these uh, expansion equals over here. Now, let's see, I skipped some butler's rooms. Let's look at the butler's rooms. Well, oh, hi, little girl. Yep, I'm just I'm going to be on my team. You're going to be on my team? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's going to be on my team. Butler's room. I'm a. Oh. Silly me. These are starting tiles. These are supposed to go in with here. With these ones, yes. Ah, I don't have other service. Okay, so these ones get added into the uh, player or the player um, boxes here. And that means Wessex is also missing one. So slip that into Wessex there, and those are all punched out except for these things along the side. Look at that in a little bit. I think that those are all uh, monument things, which I'm not planning to start with. Um, oops, I mix up my. Uh, I did. This is Y6. This is Howard. I don't know how that happened. But all right. <laughs> all right, Y6 is finished now. Howard, all right. Um, these ones get. I got Emma. Yes, I see her. She's got that. That cute uh, night going on, huh? <laughs> I have a kitten again. And I have a, it's polar bears. You got polar bears? Mm -hmm. Alright. Not a hood. Let's mix these in over here. And let's see. Now the cards are the other complicated three. part of this. So I just want to walk through these cards real quickly before oh. I turn this off and head to bed. It's late here. They know. They know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, my. All righty. Are you opening the packages? I am. This package, anyway. Alright, so we've got Howard has four family members with the H and the uh, crest up there, and then we've got a 
whole bunch of things and these are all kinds of different uh, things here we've got some milestone cards I'm not playing with milestones yet I'm gonna put it in my maybe add later pile um, we've got some new style player aids however there are only uh -oh. five of them um, that said I will probably well, let's see these are the upstairs downstairs servants so these ones definitely go stay with the expansion since they only have to do with the new servants now this new passing system um, actually is recommended to go into the base game so I'm gonna oh. include these in the in the player boxes here yeah, let's see hi little girl <laughs> yeah you're cute all right all right. uh, oh, leave, leave everything where it is, please. You like to, you like those? All right. Okay, so we've got a uh, um, casual and prestige guests, couple starter guests too. I'm going to take a quick look through here to see if any of them require any of the new servants. I wouldn't expect so. No, they do not. Okay. So I think that these can all just be uh, integrated directly in with the regular uh, deck. And that is it. So these are my, these are my uh, existing cards here. I've got uh, starter cards ended up underneath there. Um, uh, the prestige guests and the regular guests. Now, these ones, from what I understand, actually help um, a little bit in that they're not as uh, the the, the uh, regular guests and the non-prestige guests are a little bit less harsh than in the um, than in the original version. So I'm definitely going to mix these in immediately. All right. And so we've got our prestige guests, our regular guests, and I've got my starter guests under here. Starter guests. Additional starter guests. And that's it. Um, thank you for listening. <laughs>